What am I passionate about? What thrills me? How can I bring more of this into my life? Thomas let out a big sigh as he habitually found himself doing most mornings while getting ready for work. Working as an accountant for one of the largest firms in the country was quite an accomplishment, but he was never excited about going into the office. Monday mornings were the worst, but this particular Monday he felt even more resistance than usual. Maybe it was because his 15 year anniversary was coming up and he was expected to give a speech about how wonderful it was being part of such a prestigious company, which deep down he was dreading. Thomas couldn't ignore the nagging inertia he felt as he continued through the day. What was even more troubling was realizing that it seemed to be a common theme in other areas of his life. He felt it almost every time he worked out at the gym, which admittedly was more and more infrequent. Cooking his favorite gourmet dishes was no longer exciting or stimulating and felt like just another monotonous chore. Much like any other he carried out around the house or garden. Thomas was truly alarmed to notice the same dull feeling of just going through the motions while out with friends. It was at that moment that he realized that there was something missing. He had lost his passion. He used to love cooking and having friends around to taste his delectable delights. And it wasn't that long ago that he was an active member of his local cycling club that always kept him on top of his game. And as for his garden, it used to be his pride and joy, and it was nothing to spend hours tending to his beloved plants, much to the envy of his neighbors. Most of us live mundane and uneventful lives. We go through the motions without feeling excitement or passion. And we already know tomorrow is going to look much like it was today. Black and white and tinges of gray color the landscape of life and dull and diminish our senses. Smoldering embers remain where there was once zest and energy. And boredom torments each waking moment, pushing us to the brink of insanity. The anguish of our aimless lives is more than we can bear. Our passion dims further and further into the fading light. But what exactly is this thing we call passion? Passion is that strong feeling, emotion or sense that makes you feel alive. It's the energy that fuels your dreams and goals. When you're worn out and can't take another step, passion propels you that one more time. When you're bursting with excitement and can't wait to get the day started, that's when you know you're living with passion. It's at the heart of the project you can't put down and the soul of the mission you're determined to see through to the end. Passion is that wild and exciting force that drives you to make something more of your life. Something bigger, something better, something that reflects who you are at the core of your being. When you're overwhelmed with fear and can't quite speak your voice, passion will keep nudging to remind you of your best self and relationship with the greater good. You wonder why it won't leave you alone. But it won't. It can't. It's embedded in your heart, right next to your purpose. Passion knows your deepest desires, and just when the time is right, gives power and enthusiasm to the things you love and connect with the most. The things that excite you, that give you reason to get up each day, that you live for, skip meals for, relegate friends for, dodge a night out for, and regularly lose sleep for. 
those things that fill life up to the brim with love and meaning and fill you up with dignity knowing that you've made a difference. Passion shows up as a warm glow, an inner light and a radiance that cannot be denied. It's contagious, sumptuous and gorgeous as hell. It's no wonder it makes you shine. Whenever you are single-mindedly focused, resolutely committed and do or die determined, chances are passion is at the helm driving your mind and your actions. Who you are shines through when you connect to your passion and to the things that matter to you most. Let's work with these five questions to have more fun, connect to your passions and shine in life. What do you do for play? When do you have the most fun? What thrills you? What takes you out of yourself? When do you lose all sense of time? How and when do you stop yourself from fully expressing who you are? How could you give the world something of yourself? What would it take to bring more passion and enthusiasm into your life? Ponder these questions over the week ahead, then choose one action to move forward with. Sharing your feelings and thoughts can be very comforting and is a very natural tendency of the human species. But there may be limitations to disclosing your darkest and deepest secrets to others. Journaling is a safe space to self-divulge and dig to the very core of your being without judgment or inhibition. Journaling can deepen your understanding of who you are what you like, hate, or are indifferent to. What makes you happy, or sad, or brings a smile to your face. Journaling can improve your mood and brighten your outlook on life. Research shows that people who journal are healthier, happier, and have a greater sense of agency. It supports your mental health. When life feels like it's spiraling out of control, journaling helps to make sense of the experiences and gives you a degree of control. Journaling makes a difference. Make it fun, do it regularly, and enjoy the many benefits journaling will add to your life.